What's up YouTube? Carl here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And for this episode, I have a very special guest. We have a fellow Filipino sneaker YouTuber, Nars. Hi everyone. Thank you, Carlo. It's an honor to be here. Thank you so Happy much. to have you. Happy to have wow. you on the channel. So guys, today we have a special episode because apart from the special guest, we have a pretty interesting topic. We're going to talk about our favorite sneakers that we were able to buy from the outlet or thrift stores or Ukay. Because one of the sneakers here, uh, I actually picked up from a thrift slash Ukay, Ukay shop somewhere in Makati. Okay, Okay. Okay, so let's kick things off. I have three sneakers over here. You have three then also? Ba? Oh, five. 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 Oh, okay. So since you go in the month, you can start already with one of yours. Okay. I'm a classic guy, Carlo. It's the Adidas Superstar in triple white. And I bought this for a 50% off. It's 4800 I just bought it for 2400 Not bad. And the great thing about white sneakers is that they never go out of style. They're easy to wear and yeah, they're just really timeless. So they're fashionable today, tomorrow, 10 years from now. So it's definitely a great buy to, have, to add to your collection. Now, what man, I'll add to that. Uh, so this one is something that I picked up from a thrift store in Makati. So, or Ukay Ukay, Tawagat sa Pilipinas. So this is an Air Force One. Uh, I got this for a little over 1,000. I think it was like 1,100 or 1,200. Uh, this is already restored. Uh, it used to look so much worse than what it, it looks like now. Uh, and there was actually a big debate if this was legit or not. Mm. Some people said that it was legit. Some people said that it was fake. Uh, but after wearing it for a while and after wearing a lot of other Air Force Ones, I can honestly tell you, just based on the feel, that at least it feels legit. So I have here, this one sells, I bought it in one of the outlet shops, it's 4495 and they have a discount for 2450 but I got this since this is the last pair, it's, I got it for 1800 pesos. Nice. This is your Reebok All-Terrain Race, it's really good for, for trail running, hiking, because I'm a mountain guy so I do a lot of hikes. So yeah, this is Reebok, and the good thing about this is just so light. Next up for me, I only have three, so I'll go to the second one. Uh, this is the, I was about to say Adidas. <laughs> the Nike Air Max 270 Bowfin. So the Air Max Bowfin, the two traits about it, number one, you have a water resistant upper. Number two, you have a really thick outsole, which helps with durability, traction, and overall movement and stability of the sneaker. But another great like feature is that it's actually super comfortable because of the foam over here, coupled with the 270 air unit at the back. Usually the problem with the Air Max 270 is that the air at the back is too soft. And you feel the softness because the outsole is too thin. Okay. Diba? Now the great thing about the Air Max 270 Bowfin is because that the outsole is a bit thick, it kinda cushions the air space here at the back and gives it more stability. So if you ask me of all the Air Max 270s I have tried, this is my favorite in terms of comfort and function because it's water resistant, it's comfortable, it's stable, and it's affordable because this used to sell for over 7,000 pesos I think, 7,600 or almost 8,000. I was able to get this for 5,000 something at the outlet. Oh. So, and the, this one comes in multiple colorways. There's a triple black, there's a blue black red, there's a blue green white, uh, and a variety of other colors of the Air Max 270. Bowfin. Okay, since I'm a team, no brand. My oh, next I love of you, course, man. the New Balance 420. So I bought it in Market Market Tagig. They have an event there. So this one is originally priced at around 4,000 pesos. I got it for a whopping 50% off. I just got it for 2,000 pesos. So you have this. Um, like suede material in the upper and the brown gum uh, outsole plus the white midsole and it's rev light. Okay, are you a fan of New Balance, Carlo? Yeah, my favorite sneaker is the 990 V5. Used to be the V4, then now it's the V5. So I'm actually coming up with a vlog na parang best New Balance sneakers of 2019. So watch out for that guys, that should be coming really soon. Of course, I'm a classic guy, Carlo. I'm so sorry. This is the Nike yeah, all court. court, yeah, all court low leather. 
all court to low leather so it comes with um, a leather upper and uh, rubber outsole so you know um, it's uh, my advice to those um, really into sneakers especially for beginners or just wanting to to buy sneakers um, I always advise the I, I always advise that you can never go wrong with classics and you just build first your basics before going into expanding your collection. Uh, my last sneaker, and this is a shoe that I got completely wrong. Uh, when I first reviewed it, I said that it was one of the worst sneakers that Nike did. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the reason why Nike doesn't show me any love. Because <laughs> I did that video. I, I made a video, why the Air Max 720 sucks. Okay. So it got over 100,000 views. Uh, stop get, getting invites to Nike events after that. But anyway, okay. so I, I think I got it wrong. Not because I'm repentant. I still don't need, you know, whatever from Nike. Uh, but my main point is, when I wore this, I wore it at a size 12. Because okay. I always thought that I was size 12. So and when I buy shoes, I always say, uh, I'm a natural size 12, go half a size up, go a full size up. And I would always say, I suggest, I feel like I'm always getting a full size up. Even a lot of YouTubers say you just have to go a half size up. Okay. I finally found out what was wrong. I'm not size 12. So, so I went to a Nike thing? store. You know those machines that you put your feet and then they tell you what your actual size oh, yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually size 12.5. Okay. So when I bought this, I bought it at size 12. Okay. So the reason why it was so unstable for me was because it was too small okay. for my feet. So this one is size 13, so it's a half size up from my real size, okay. and it fits so much better. Okay, how about the so much more comfortable? comfortable? Well, it's so much more comfortable than when I first wore it. Okay. So now the good news is you don't have to spend the, the entire amount because this is now on the outlet stores a lot. Oh. So there are multiple colorways of the Air Max 720 sitting on the outlets at 20% off. I really think that a lot of Filipinos do not get the appeal of the 720 and that it will continue to sit on outlets for the months to come. So if you want a 720 in Tagalog, huwag niyo muna bilhin kasi malamang magmumura pa yan sa outlet. Antayin niyo na lang, tatarating ang panahon, 50% off pa lang. <laughs> Aabangan ko yan. So abangan niyo na lang. And this one, the story about, this is your Reebok Classic Montana Cats. Oh, look at that. It's um, a leather upper with a rubber outsole. So what I like about this is the story behind why I, I, I cut this. The reason is that I went to Mega Mall and I don't have money at that time. It was I only I only have two thousand pesos. And you bought wallet. a shoe? No, no, no. I was just looking at it. Uh, and I was like, kamuna. Oh, nice. <laughs> Food first. <laughs> Milo's Maslow's hierarchy, physiologic needs. So I was actually looking at it and I don't have money. I just have two thousand pesos in my wallet. Then, um, sabi ko in Tagalog, ang sabi ko ay titingnan, uh, babalikan ko siya the next day. Unfortunately. Pagbalik ko, when I returned to the shop, it's no longer available. So I was like um, dreaming, having a nightmare for the past couple of days. I'm a classic guy. <laughs> Whoa, huh? So it just reminds me, you know, as a 90s kid, you know, Reebok is just um, our go-to sneakers before uh, Reebok. So, well, I classic leather. That was one of my favorite sneakers growing up, the Reebok classic leather. Okay, so guys, those are the eight sneakers that we want to share to you. Uh, again, I have the Air Max 270 Bofin, the Air Max 720 Northern Lights, and the Air Force One. Pao na alam mo to? Oh yeah, no, yan ang pinag-usapan ng maraming tao kung legit ba siya o hindi. Pinag-usapan oh, ng legit. Pinag-check mo pa yan, tinignan nila yung tahi sa loob. And saka yung debris. Yeah. Oh, okay. But feeling ko talaga after wearing it. Sometimes you just know after wearing it, you know. You wear, lalo na if you wear the shoe a lot. Mm -hmm. So I wear, I wear a lot of Air Force Ones. And I, I really can't the difference, tell the difference between an original one. In this one, so I really feel that like this one, after wearing it for a while, is legit. Wow! So I have here is your Reebok All Terrain Race, the Nike All Court to Low, the New Balance 420, the Reebok Classic Montana Cans, and of course one of my favorites. Check out my Adidas Outlet Vlog, the Adidas Superstar, and Triple One. Okay guys, just because he gave me a cap, I'm forced to do a power-up words of wisdom for today. So our power-up words of wisdom for today is all about humility. What is humility? Humility is you keeping your head down, especially when you are already successful. The thing about success is that you get delusional that you've already made it and you actually stop learning. To Paul's point, you should never stop learning. When you start questioning everybody else and you always feel that you're correct and everybody else is wrong, 
when you start to already criticize others because you feel that they're doing the wrong thing and you know it better that's the point where you should check yourself check your heart because the great thing about humility is it's actually the secret to grit and resilience what what is grit and resilience grit and resilience is if everything goes wrong in your life you're still okay if marami challenges okay ka kasi if you're humble if you're grateful for what you already have no matter what comes you'll be okay I remi i'm reminded of a great talk by one of my favorite WWE superstars. Uh, his name is uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Okay. Ang sabi ni The Rock, uh, every time before he goes to do something big in his life, he always imagines the hard times in life. Never the good things. Mm -hmm. Because by imagining all the hard things in life that you went through, you become grateful. So no matter if his movie flops, if his WrestleMania match fall, you know, fails, yeah. he's always grateful. So if you want to be happy in life, if you want to be successful in life, the key to it, humility, because it leads to resilience and grit. Before this video ends, a big shout out to my wife. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, that's it for now. Peace, God bless, what's up? Boom.